Congratulations! Teacher One ka na. Excited ka na bang malaman kung magkano ang net pay mo? Let's get started! Alamin natin kung paano ba i-compute ang net salary pay ng isang Teacher One based on the 2021 salary tranche of the national government agencies. Para makafollow ka sa computation natin, please get in writing materials like pen or ball pen, paper, and a calculator and the 2021 salary grade table. Sa second tranche of the salary standardization law, 2021 salary grade table of a teacher 1 a salary grade 11 which is equal to wow! plus 2,000 pesos which is the pera of personal economic relief allowance so ito yung deductions so apat na mandatory deductions ng isang a government employee so ito first is the GSIS Intended lang ito ha for the civilian personnel, civilian personnel in the national government agencies or any local government agencies. Basta civilian lang ito. Basic salary plus pera equals the gross salary. Less deductions, ito po yung apat na mandatory deductions. 9% GSIS, the field health, the pagibig, and the BIR withholding tax. Basic salary ng teacher 1 is 23,877 pesos. Wow! Dito tayo magbibay sa computation. Kunan natin to ng deduction. So, ang GSIS ay 9% sa personal share and 12% sa government share. So, since personal share lang ang kunin natin, so 9% lang ang males sa basic salary mo. So, 23,877 times 9% equal 2,148.93. Ito yung GSIS na 9%. So, ito yung 2,148.93 GSIS Personal Share. Ito yung madidak sa sahod mo. First deduction, 2,148.93. So, from 23,877 times 12%, ito yung 2,865.24. Ito yung government share government share plus personal share to 148.93 plus 2865.24 equals 5014.17 ito yung total na marimit sa GSIS personal share and government share ito yung total na marimit sa GSIS 5014.17 so, gets? Ito naman ang field health deduction na 3% both uh, personal share and at, uh, government share. So, from the basic salary times 1.5% equals 358.16. Ito yung madeduct sa basic salary mo, 358.16 kasi ito yung personal share mo. And for equivalent nito, 358.16 equals government share. At ito naman ang total na marimit sa PhilHealth or Philippine Health Insurance Corporation or commonly known as PhilHealth. 3% muna ang dinididak nila as of year 2021. At ito naman ang pag-ibig deduction ng fixed amount of 100 pesos. Pero pwede rin niyang pataasan kung gusto mong mag-contribute ng 500 or 1,000 yung mandatory contribution mo sa pag-ibig, pwede rin. Kasi kung malaki ang contribution mo, malaki rin ang loanable amount mo. Kasi out of 80% of your total contribution, 
ay loanable amount mo yan. So, pwede mo rin pataasan yan ng contribution mo. Pero yung fixed amount talaga, para makuha natin yung tax computation natin, is 100 pesos lang talaga deduct, mandatory deduction 100 pesos lang ang mandatory deduction sa pag-EV dito na tayo sa withholding tax on compensation paano nga ba ito i-compute? so magkano nga ba ang tax ng isang teacher 1? so 23,877 times 12 months kasi ito yung whole year na basic salary was 286,524. Ito yung gross compensation. Gross compensation mo for the whole year. So, from gross salary of 286,524 times 9% yan is equal to 25,787.16. Ito yung 9% na i-less natin to get the taxable amount. Less 4,297.86, ito yung 1.5% na feel health personal share. At less 1,200, ito yung pag-ibig fund o HDMF personal share. Kasi 1,200, so 100 times 12 is 1,200. So, eh, less mo yan. Sa 286, 524, less mo ito sa GSIS, less mo ito sa PhilHealth, eh, less mo ito sa HDMF, equals 255,238.98. Ito yung taxable income, taxable compensation. Based on a tax bracket, sa train law, na 250,000 below, walang tax. But 250,000 above is may tax na na 20%. So, i-less natin ng 250 kasi non-taxable ang 250 gross compensation. Ayan. So, may remaining siya na 5,238. 98. Ito yung taxable na gross compensation ng isang teacher 1. Dito tayo mag-multiply ng 20% times times 20% equals 1,048 0.80 And within a year, ito yung tax ni teacher 1 5,238.98 times 20% equals 1,048.80 Ito yung tax ni teacher 1 sa whole year So, divide pa natin ito ng 12 months to get the monthly tax Equals 81 pesos and 32 centavos. Ito yung monthly tax ni teacher 1. Kung may difference man sa point, sa pag-round off na yan, at lahat naman ma-add up lang, ma-sum up lang at the end of the year. Basta, total na marimit sa BIR na tax ni teacher 1 is 1,048.80 at the end of the year. So, sa December. So, ito lang ang madidak monthly. Kung monthly tax niyo ngayon ay may differ sa point, masum up lang yan at the end of the year. Okay lang yan. Sa basic salary ni teacher 1, 23,877 less... GSIS to 148.93 Ito naman yung sa PhilHealth 358.16 At ito naman sa pag-ibig na 100 And ito yung sa tax with holding taxes on compensation 87.32 And yung NIT Ito yung NIT sa basic salary. Less na yung mga deductions na to. Itong deductions. And ito yung NIT. 
sa basic salary, mag-add pa tayo ng 2,000 na pe pera, personal economic rating allowance, so total of 23,182.59. Ito yung net pay. Net teacher 1. Yan ang net pay ni teacher 1. Yan po, ang 23,182.59. Net pay of a teacher 1. If you like this video, please like and share. At kung hindi ka pa nakapag-subscribe, mag-subscribe na po kayo sa subscription button below. And click the notification bell para update ka sa mga bagong videos na ipopost ko. Thank you for watching. Have a good day and keep safe everyone. God bless!